All right, what we're going to do in this tutorial is we are going to practice dilating an object on the coordinate plane. We're going to perform two dilations. One is going to stretch our original shape and one is going to shrink our original shape. So the problem is asking us to dilate triangle ABC with the center of 0, 0, which is the origin, by a scale factor of 2 and label it triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. Then we have to dilate triangle ABC with the center of 0, 0 by a scale factor of 0 0.5 and label it triangle A double prime, B double prime, and C double prime. All right, now the first part of the problem is asking us to dilate our triangle by a scale factor of 2, which means we have to stretch this triangle. Any scale factor greater than 1 will effectively stretch out a shape. Now, any scale factor that's less than 1, such as 0 0.5, will shrink the original shape. So let's start with the first part of this problem and dilate this triangle by a scale factor of 2. And the strategy that I'm going to use to dilate this triangle by a scale factor of 2 is by writing down the original coordinates and then multiplying each one of those values by our scale factor, which is 2. For example, point A is located at negative 4, negative 2 for the y, Point B is located at positive 4, negative 2, and point C is currently located at negative 4, positive 4. All right, so what we're going to do is we're simply going to take each one of these values and multiply them by 2. So that means that A prime, the new location of A, is going to be at negative 8 negative 4. So we just doubled these values because our scale factor is 2. And B prime will be located at positive 8, negative 4. C prime will be located at negative 8 and positive 8. So let's go ahead and plot these points. So A prime is at negative 8, negative 4. So we make our point and we label it A prime. B prime is at positive 8, negative 4. And we plot our point and label that B prime. And C prime is at negative 8, positive 8. And we go ahead and label that point C prime. And then what we have to do next is connect all of our points together to form our dilated triangle. So we connect A prime to B prime, B prime to C prime, and C prime back to A prime to form our dilated triangle. All right, now what we have to do is dilate our original triangle ABC by a scale factor of 0 0.5 or 5 tenths. Now we should recognize that 5 tenths is the same thing as 1 half. So basically what we're doing is taking our original coordinates and multiplying each one of them by 1 half, which is the same thing as dividing something by 2. So this is going to be mental math for us because all of the values are even values. So the new location of A double prime is going to be negative 2, negative 1 because half a negative 4 is negative 2, and half a negative 2 is negative 1. And the new location of B double prime is going to be positive 2 and negative 1, because I cut each one of these values in half. And the new location of C double prime is going to be negative 2 and positive 2. So now we can go ahead and plot these points. So A double prime is at negative 2, negative 1, which will be located right here, and we label it A double prime. B double prime is at positive 2, negative 1, and that's located right here. So we label that B double prime. And C double prime is at negative 2, positive 2, located right here. And now what we have to do is go ahead and connect our points. So A goes to B, and B to C, and C back to A. 
All right, now after our dilations, here's a few things that we should notice. We should notice that A prime, B prime, C prime, which is a dilation of our original triangle by a scale factor of two became larger. We stretched it out because our scale factor is greater than one. Anytime the scale factor is greater than one, your shape is going to be stretched out or expanded. And the smaller triangle, A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, is a dilation of our original triangle, but it became a shrunken version because our scale factor is less than one, specifically 0 0.5. So anytime you see a scale factor that's less than one, we have to remember that we are shrinking down our object. We should also understand that any dilation really will just produce a shape that is similar to the original or proportional to the original. That means that all corresponding sides of the similar shapes will be enlarged or reduced by the given scale factor. For example, if we take a look at this side of our triangle right here, we can see that it has a side length of six units. And if we were to measure its corresponding side with this triangle, we would see that it is a length of 12 units. So we basically just doubled this from six to 12 because the scale factor was two. And then if we compare this side with this corresponding side, we went from six to three and three is half a six, which is a scale factor of 0 0.5 or one half. And one final note, we should understand that the strategy that I used right here by writing the original coordinates and then multiplying by the scale factor only works if your center of dilation is the origin or zero comma zero. So when performing any dilations, when the center of dilation is the origin, you can simply write down the original coordinates and multiply each value by the given scale factor. Hey, I just wanna say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and activate notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials that just might help you with your math homework. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.